today I'm going to show you to make a very simple vegetable leek soup. And I would actually say it's light enough to eat in the summer. You need one large leek, one carrot about two fingers long, one tablespoon of unsalted butter, two teaspoons of salt, give or take for taste, and two cups of water. We start out by prepping our carrot, chopping off the rough ends, and then peeling it. Then you go on to prep your leek. First starting out getting rid of the dark portions of green at the top. I just kind of shade the top part portion of the leek off, getting rid of all the rough dark parts uh, so that it won't make the soup too tough and actually difficult to blend. I then slice the leek lengthwise from root to tip, making sure that it stays together at the base so that when I later go on to dice it, it's a little bit easier to handle. Slicing the leek lengthwise like this serves two purposes. First, making it easier to dice, but also making it easier to clean. There's a lot of dirt that gets caught up in the layers, making, I would say, double the work. It saves a lot of time, especially if a recipe doesn't require the leek be cut into rings. Once you have the leek diced, I found that it is easiest to clean if you submerge all of the leek into a bowl of cold water, allowing the dirt to settle and rest in the bottom of the bowl, and then straining the leek out with a colander or something with small enough holes where the leek won't escape from the holes. I usually do that process at least three times to make sure that the leek is fully clean and you don't end up eating grit. Here I've already added the tablespoon of butter along with the drained leek as well as the two teaspoons of salt. I also shred the carrot as opposed to dicing it to help it cook a little bit faster alongside the leek. Here I'm actually using a stovetop wok with the heat set to medium so that I have enough room to add water when I do use my immersion blender. I also decided to use a little bit of leftover spinach that I had in the refrigerator and also so that it wouldn't go bad. Add two cups of water, cover this mix and allow it to come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I cut off the heat and proceed to blend it with an immersion blender. It took about three minutes to blend the soup smooth. However, if I had it to do it all over again, I probably would use a regular stand blender. But it was a lot easier to clean up with just an immersion blender. If I were to make this soup again, I would probably use milk instead of water and perhaps a little cream just to round out the flavors a bit. Because leek has a very mild onion flavor when cooked, I decided to garnish it with a few oven fried onion rings that I also prepared. However, I would not suggest that you top the soup with onion rings because they were extremely soggy when it came to eating them but they did make a great side dish for the soup. 